Namaste from Dhananjay Kumar and welcome to each and every one of you to a video dedicated to raising intelligent kids and to their teachers. In this episode, the topic is map and the first quotation by Oscar Wilde. A map of the world that does not include utopia. A map of the world which does not include utopia is not even worth glancing at. Now that's a wonderful, wishful statement. First, let's understand what is utopia. On the map, we see many places on the earth, Asia, India, Tanzania, Albania, Tunisia, Algeria, etc., etc., all ending with IA. Where is utopia? Oscar Wilde is asking. Now, obviously he knows and we all know that utopia is not a place that exists on the earth, but utopia is a place, a region we can imagine. What are the qualities of utopia? We can also imagine very intelligent people live there, they are not in conflict, they are creative, they are imaginative, they are protective of the environment and there is no suffering, no war and no exploitation, etc. It's all the positive qualities put together is a place we imagine and call it utopia. So the question raised here is if a map of the world does not include utopia, it is not worth glancing at, which means conceptually that at least the idea of utopia should be kept alive. It should not remain only an idea, but we should move toward it and maybe one day in future, we'll have a place called Utopia on Earth and perhaps the whole Earth, all the countries together will be Utopia and only Utopia would exist. Wonderful thought, worth pondering about that why we can imagine something but cannot establish Many things in the world in the past we have imagined and we have accomplished, we have established. But why not utopia? A map with utopia would be wonderful to behold. This quotation by Alfred Korzybski. Here he brings in symbol and what is symbolized. The map is not the territory and the world is not the thing and there is no connection between the symbol and that which is symbolized. So this is a very straightforward quotation that the map is not the territory. You take a map equal to a sheet of paper and say, oh, in the map, this is this country, this is this city, this is this river, that mountain, all these things we can identify and even name it in the map. But the mountain shown on the map is not the mountain. It is a symbol. 
the map of the earth is not the earth it is a symbol a symbol is what we cannot bring in front of us it exists but a miniature form we can show as a as an image as a photograph as a drawing as a picture that is symbol but then he goes on to say that there is no connection between symbol and what is being symbolized so this is also a message to those who consider a statue to be real a statue is not whose statue it is same for pictures and uh, photos and, and maps there is a difference what is being symbolized in a map is really existing in the same form and shape and color and dimension but we cannot bring that vastness on a piece of paper or in front of our eyes that is why symbols are usually often very necessary to understand that which is being symbolized because a symbol is not it symbol is a representation there is a connection between what is represented and how it is represented so as long as we understand the difference between the symbol and what is being symbolized we are okay but we should not be taken away we should not be taken astray in our thoughts to start believing that this world is in the map it is to facilitate to make it convenient to visualize what the world is by looking at the map so it's a very useful hint and thank you for watching we'll meet again soon namaste to all